Completed in 1881, the Pillsbury A Mill was the world's largest flour mill for almost 20 years. Did Charles Alfred Pillsbury ever imagine that the world's most advanced mill would become a highly sought after tourist attraction for young people toting flashlights and cameras? We may never know. Although the future is uncertain for the original home of the Doughboy, one thing remains clear. The Pillsbury A Mill is one of the most iconic and fascinating buildings in all of Minneapolis. Determined to have an inside look at the building, I went in with an explorer who preferred to remain nameless. People that worked here had to control these from like this, and not like a regular elevator, they're like old, old elevators. I can't even imagine what these were for, some plug in or something. Okay, dude. You can see down there, it must be like. Must has to be like 30 stories, something like that. I see water all the way down there. This light works really well. I'm gonna drop this brick though. Let's see what it does. Wow. Wow. We traversed the floors of the building, finding electrical boxes. Vast rooms filled with dirt and dust, and even remnants of other places that have been left behind. The building was filled with many floors, and as we ventured through each of them, there was always something new to be found. In buildings like this, it's important to watch your step. This is we made our way to the top of the building and enjoyed the sights to be seen. Afterwards, we climbed the catwalk to the other side of Pillsbury. Dude, I think it's an LED. Probably one of the first LEDs ever made. This thing right here. It's weird. It's This is an office. It's the elevator office. It controls the elevator. It's nuts. That's really cool. With a mill this complex, one could explore for hours. What brings you into buildings like this? Abandoned buildings like this? Yeah. Um, just like any curious person, I think it's just. Like there's history behind these kind of places. Completely abandoned. You can see the wear and tear from history and time. Just what just happens to a building like this. Completely alone by itself for decades and decades, you know. Yeah. People used to inhabit this place on a daily basis. This used to be a factory where people made an income for their families. People come in and they take things, artifacts, and maybe they're scrapping or something. It's it's just, when you come to these places, it's like you're in a whole other world. It's a hobby for most. A lot of people that come in here just do it as a passion. This place especially is a big favorite for these people in Minneapolis. And it's been abandoned by for decades. Just so long, you can see by what you see right now, it's just old, and you can honestly see through this video what people come here to see and why they come here to see it. It's an amazing place to come, just like any other abandoned building. You know, really, somewhere that is where most people don't go, the average person. 
people don't go out of their way to come to these kind of places and see. With renovation just days away, I met up with another explorer to take one last look inside Pillsbury. What makes you climb buildings like these? You live once in your life, you know? We're out here. Wherever you're born, you gotta, you gotta live life and, you know, experience it. What's the uh, craziest shit that you've ever climbed before? Whoo! Some broken ass ladders, whether it be Pillsbury, whether it be the uh, brewery off of West 7th, other than that, it's been like probably caves, and those aren't things you climb up, you climb down, and that's just as scary. Climbing down is just as scary as climbing up. Minneapolis. Might be by downtown Minneapolis. Let's see. Forest demolished. The forest demolished. We got less than a year. We may be the last people up here, brother. Less than one week later, renovations started on the Pillsbury complex.
Across the river, gold medal flower stands as a reminder of our city's past. The Washburn A-Mill was completed in 1874. Just four years later, the mill exploded, killing 14 workers and making national headlines. In 1991, a fire engulfed the abandoned mill, nearly destroying it. The ruins have been turned into a museum, offering insights into the milling industry, as well as a view from the top. The building overlooking the Minneapolis riverfront was once known as Gold Metal Foods. The sign atop the Washburn Mill was built in 1910. It is 40 feet high and stands 250 feet above the sidewalk. Gold Metal Flower narrowly escaped demolition and is one of three National Historic Landmarks in Minneapolis, the highest honor that can be given to a building in terms of historic preservation. I made my way to a different part of Minneapolis to explore the ADM Delmar Mill. The mill was built in 1926, but now stands in ruin.
After shooting some footage and snapping some pictures, we decided to make our way to the top of the mill to enjoy the sunset over downtown Minneapolis. So how was the roof? Ah, oh, man. At least there's one way to get up there now. There used to be another way if you climb, climb through some machinery. That was last year when I was here. And this ladder, <laughs> this ladder is insane, dude. It's complete vertical on the side of a building. If you look down, for a while, but Beauty can be found in the most unexpected places, so long as we look.